Milwaukee's mayor is back home and resting comfortably two days after he was severely beaten while trying to break up a domestic dispute. The brother of 55-year-old Tom Barrett says the mayor sustained major injuries. He has a significant cut on his face that needed plastic surgery on the bottom part. Um, he is, uh, needed staples in the back of his head and uh, his arm needed extent. They had to do three-hour surgery on his arm. Doctors say Barrett's hand was shattered and his two front teeth were knocked out. Barrett and his family had left the Wisconsin State Fair Saturday night when they heard a woman screaming for help. Police say the woman was a grandmother who was trying to protect her one-year-old granddaughter from a 20-year-old man. Barrett tried to calm the situation and call 911. And the assailant knocks the phone out of his hand and then stomps on the phone. He's stomping on the phone and Tom's like, you know, take it easy, calm down, things will be all Barrett's brother says the man punched the mayor in the stomach, then hit him with a police baton. However, police say it was actually a metal pipe. Barrett's brother says despite the violent, unprovoked attack, the mayor remains upbeat. I think he was able to prevent further harm to the grandmother and the child and keep his kids safe at the same time. President Barack Obama called the mayor before he checked out of the hospital Monday to commend him for going above and beyond the call of duty. According to the White House, Obama told Barrett that he was proud of his selfless act of courage. Police have arrested a 20-year-old man, but charges may not be filed until later in the week. Police say the man was intoxicated at the time of the assault. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.